What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about glass railings both on stairs and on regular floors. Now glass railings are a really nice clean element so I'm talking about those just clean glass panels, no construction whatsoever. They are really clean and nice and they are a really good design option to make your interior or your exterior of the building look way more elegant and cool. So I thought it would be a good topic for a Revit tutorial. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. It pushes the tutorial through. And also, if you have not already, I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I make two Revit tutorials like this, plus I do one one hour course that I upload to my Patreon. First, a link in the description. There, I have all, already over 20 courses, and they are all one hour long, and they are advanced courses on the topics of Revit. Also, there, you can download all of my Revit project files like this, glass railings, and much more 300 files so far. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. As you can see here, I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. And first, I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, glass railings for stairs and then on floors. So in this case, uh, I'm going to be using the, a different approach for a glass railing on stairs and then a different approach for regular glass railing. Now usually you would use the same uh, railing family but I just found for these clean uh, glass railings it's better to have separate approaches for your staircase and then a separate approach for your floor. So what I'm going to do first is just go to floor and uh, do a floor on the upper side. Let's just go maybe with this wood finish floor and let's just place it on level two and do a simple rectangle just like this, for example. Hit finish and because we can't see it, just go here into the floor plan uh, properties, find your underlay options and then just check the range base level to level two. And there we go, we can see it kind of in the underlay uh, options or half tone view. Now just go to the staircase option and I'm going to go and I'm going to use the assembled stair. I'm going to make some changes later on, but for now let's leave it as is and just do a simple stair like this. I'm going to snap it to the edge and also use the align tool. AL is the shortcut to align it to this edge and then just lock it in place. Hit finish and there we go. Now I'm just going to go into 3D. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to hold the control key and then select both of these pipe railings that just come with the, uh, uh, with the staircase and just hit delete. Now let's make some alterations to this staircase. Now here we're using these two outside supports or stringers uh, to hold the staircase in place. But what we're going to be doing now is just go here into edit. Okay, let's uh, move this to the edge of the screen like this and then go into edit type. And here first let's get rid of this riser. I don't want to see that. So just go here to run type. Uh, go to this little three dot button and then here for the risers turn those off and go ahead and turn the slanted option off as well. When you hit OK apply OK. Now you can see it's kind of transparent. Maybe if we turn on shading a bit. Yeah, it looks better. So it's now just uh, empty, uh, empty uh, uh, stairs. So select it again, uh, go into edit type. Now let's make some additional settings. So we want to use these uh, right and left supports to create our uh, glass railing, but then we need to have some supports. Usually stairs won't be uh, just on glass. So that's why I'm going to add the middle support and let's just edit that. And I'm just going to duplicate this one and call it the uh, 1500 millimeter width. And yeah, as you probably guessed it, I'm going to change the width to 150 millimeters. Hit OK, hit apply, hit OK, and there we go. So we have this kind of the the middle support of the stairs so we can use the outside supports to create our railing. Let's move it to the edge of the screen once again just so we can see it better once we make changes. Go into edit type and now let's change the right and left support. So just keep it at the uh, stringer closed and then go with the support type. Go with a 50 millimeter stringer and just go here to three dots and open it up. 
now I'm just going to duplicate it and I'm just going to call it stringer and call it glass railing. Hit enter uh, for the material, of course, glass, as you probably guessed. So let's go with glass. Let's see what Revit has on offer. Let's go with clear glazing. And then for the width, I'm going to drop it down to something a bit less significant, like 15. And for the total depth, uh, that's the actual height, uh, I'm going to go with 1200. Uh, hit OK, hit Apply, and as you can see, it looks kind of like this. Now, uh, here on the downside, it has a bit too much glass, so I want to fix that. So I'm just going to go there again and change this to maybe like 50 millimeter. Hit Apply, so it kind of rises it up a bit. And then maybe I can drop this down to 1000. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's go 1100 hit apply, OK, looks a lot better. And let's just change the left support type to that same one. So let's go with glass railing, hit OK, hit apply. And there we go. So if we now go into 3D, that's what it looks like. Maybe we can go into realistic. OK, it looks really cool. So I just want to change these steps. I want to make them wood maybe similar to this. So what I'm just going to do is just go again into railing, move it to the side just so we can see it once we go into edit type. And then here I just go to run type, open that up, find your thread. And then here we should have some options. OK, thread material. There we go. Open the little three dots, go and search for wood. I'm, I'm going to go with birch wood. That's just what I prefer to use as far as wood materials go. And there we go. Our staircase is looking quite awesome now. So we've got our wood staircase with the middle uh, support and the two glass railings. Now let's place a similar glass railing over here. Now this was just a part of the staircase. So we don't really have a uh, glass family. So what we need to do is we need to create a new railing uh, profile as well as a new family. So for that, I suggest you go to your south elevation. And here we have to take a few measurements. So what I'm going to do is just go here to the measure tool and go from this point all the way up. This gives us the height. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper and write that down. So as you can see, this says uh, 1002 point something I I guess it's an eight I can't really see it right uh, okay it's six so it's 2.6 okay so that's the height then let's go and see the depth or the thickness of the floor which is 255 so I'm going to write that number as well so keep those two numbers in mind write them down and then what you're going to do is you're going to create a new railing profile family so just go here to file, new uh, family, and let's go with the profile families and go to rail, open that up. Now once here, you're going to go with lines and let's do a simple rectangle like this. So the thickness is going to be the same one that we used for our staircase, which is 15 millimeters. The depth on the bottom is going to be that 255 distance that we've measured and the, uh, on top, uh, let's just measure from the middle. Okay, on top, it's going to be uh, 1002.6. And there we go. So this is pretty much the only thing that we need to do for this family load into project. So it's going to be called uh, family one, just because we haven't really saved the name. So it's just family one, but that's not really that important. So let's go here. Uh, let's go to level two. Okay, here we go. We're in level two. I'm just going to delete this sign because it's kind of ugly. Okay, uh, go with railing and let's go with pipe railing, edit type, duplicate, and let's call it glass. And I'm actually going to call it 1002 millimeter glass. Okay, so once we have this, now we need to make some changes. So for the railing structure here, I'm just going to select the top one and then hit delete until we have only one left. So this is going to be called uh, railing one. For the height, go to zero. 
for the railing profile go with that family one that we have created and for the material yeah you guessed that we're going to go with same glass clear glazing as we did for the staircase uh, just go apply okay and then we have to play around with the balusters because we don't really need them so go here check none check none here as well none none so we have basically no baluster families hit ok and one more thing that we need to change is the top rail we don't really need the top rail so i'm just going to get rid of that okay with that in place let's test it out so i'm just going to go from here do a simple line make sure that here it's on a level two no offset required just make sure that it's straight on the edge hit finish and then let's go into 3d to see what that looks like Okay, it appears to be on the exterior side, that's good. And there we go, we have that clear glass uh, railing and here it's fitting pretty much perfectly. So we have that glass here on the floor as well as on the staircase. So maybe we can create a 3D view for a rendering or something. So let's go here, uh, let's go with a camera view. And let's see, let's make a nice thumbnail for this video. So I'm just going to go here to the full navigation wheel, look up a bit, maybe extend it a bit like this. Yeah, that's going to look really nice. Maybe on top as well. And then we can hit render just to see what this looks like in real life. So let's see. And as you can see, it looks nice and elegant and clean, almost like it's floating. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I hope this was useful for you. If you want to download this project file, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Also there, I've got those advanced courses. One of those is on staircases. So I've got a whole one hour course where I explain completely all of the settings and all of the edits you can do to your staircases or your stairs to make them look basically you can get any look that you want out of Revit just if you're familiar with the uh, stair tool and all of the edit type options. So if you're interested in that or some of the other courses, again, as I said, first link in the description. Okay, with that out of the way, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.